This is my crappy microphone. And this is my, oh crap. And this is my drone. For months, I've been trying to make something incredibly dumb with this drone. And I finally figured it out. I'm going to make this drone voice control. But what does that mean, making a drone voice control? Stop talking and maybe I'll tell you. My parents got me this little drone about two years ago. It's a funny little thing. It can do drone things, you know, like flying and crashing. However, it is not very good at it. Just, no, no, just land on my hand, oh my god! But it turns out that these things are actually very good to code with. And thus, perfect to completely ruin a life with. Probably my own. But that's okay, that's not the point. I tried connecting my PC to my drone using this children's coding thing called Scratch because I had read that that would work. But of course I forgot that anything related to children cannot be trusted and that they're disgusting little things. <laughs> so after I had made my cursing robot Ada using Python, I wondered can I do this drone thing using Python as well? I could. Yeah, it's not really that exciting actually. It, it just works. That's all. Yeah. So then I just checked out some example code, ran it in my editor, and there! Boring trash. Who am I kidding? That's just... That's sick. <laughs> it just does that on its own. I'm not even touching it. I'm basically God now. So I looked into the code and then read some documentation. Who knew I could read? I certainly didn't. And then just started messing with my own sequence of commands. I know what you're thinking. Haha, <laughs> funny. But when is the voice control part coming? That's what I'm here for after all. Well, I'll show you, you impatient little sh- Here it is! It's done! And so am I. I am so done with this stupid piece of- Up 50! But first, let me tell you how I did it, for the 3% of you that actually cares. Basically, I just yeeted some of Ada's speech recognition code into this project, which will then turn my stupid voice into words on the screen. Penis. Then I used that to compare it to all kinds of commands, and then sent the right command to the drone. So like, forwards makes the drone go forward, backwards makes the drone go backwards, and flip makes the drone flip you off as hard as possible. And then the distance. We don't want the drone to just move 20 centimeters every time we tell it to move forward, because that is boring, and being boring is something for people that are brain dead, or for those that don't have a voice control drone. What I do instead is I have the program listen to a number after my normal command. Command. If I don't say a number, it will only move 20 centimeters. But if I do, for example, say 300, it will do this. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Enjoy. I'm gonna press the button on my keyboard and it will automatically lift off. Then I will use this microphone that I'm not using right now, I'm using this microphone right here, to talk to the program and tell the drone what to do. Let's do it. Up, 20. Can you see it? There it is. Okay. Forward, 20. Clockwise, 90. Up, 50. Against, 90. Forward, 200. Clockwise. 180 Clockwise 30 Forward 200 Against 10 Against 10 Forward 100 Okay oh, no. <laughs> Ow Land. <sighs> My god, that's sick.
Wait, what's that? CG. You think my voice control drone is fake? Just imagine, I don't do things that take effort. You should know this by now. <laughs> Besides, if this were CG, that would mean that I'm actually good at something. And let's be honest, if I were that good at CGI, I'd probably not be making this video right now. So no, not CG. Anyway, I'd like to add one more thing to this beautiful piece of art. Something that could hurt me real bad. Now here's the thing, unfortunately I couldn't get the camera to work on the drone, so I can't really let it recognize faces and then move towards them and crash into them like it normally do. But I can still break a face in the old fashioned way. So we just make a new command and we call it cheese. It's simple, it's clear, and I cannot possibly mess up saying it. Besides, it's going to be very effective. So whenever we say cheese, we set our movement speed to its maximum, whatever that may be. And then we let it go forward for two meters. What's that? Dangerous. Yeah, of course it is. That's the point, you dumbass. So here we go. Kill me. Why am I doing this? Yeah, um, maybe that wasn't a great idea after all. But what's new, right? <laughs> Besides, it was really cool. Can't deny that. But that is it for my voice control drone. Um, drone, do you wanna say something? Okay. Thanks for watching, I'm sure you really enjoyed me almost getting beat up by my drone a couple times. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't see why not. If you did, subscribing would be very, very much appreciated. Please do. And you know, liking this video as well. I am very desperate. Check out my other videos as well where I make more stupid stuff. Also, follow my devlogs on my game Icarus, which I started working on quite recently. You can also follow me on my social media, my Twitter and my Instagram right here. Don't know which one is where, I, can, I, I don't care. Do you? Just follow me there, that's all I'm asking for. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you all next time with probably not a voice control drone because that, yeah, that was okay. Bye.